The lesson was on equivalent fractions, and it was apparent that the teacher was adding on to a previous lesson. So students were very well versed in the concept already, but she had explained in her debriefing, which I found very interesting, was she was using simplified fractions, so it wasn't as complex to be able to pr provide the understanding uh, further in depth. So I thought, okay, well, when she was looking at one half and then you're looking at, you know, like, you know, two out of, you know, over four, I was thinking, okay, well those are easy fractions. And then I realized what her, the point was. The point was the concept. It wasn't to actually teach fractions, hence the CGI part. And students were utilizing that to be able to not only share their independent voices to their community through Padlet, but it was app smashing. It was using the best of two apps to be able to compound uh, or to even add on to that learning. Uh, so, which I found to be very intriguing, and the CGI component was also to bring them to the floor to tie them back together, to hear their voice once again, to and false, you know, if this makes sense or not, based upon the learning they just did through Geoboard and through Padlet. It was really neat. The teacher had bags full of various objects. The students grabbed their baggies of collections. They got into pairs on their own and they got to work. They started counting the collections. When they were done, they got on their iPads, used the Seesaw app, and described their collection, uh, their math sentence that they created. It was really neat. It was really uh, self-directed uh, by the students. Well, the thing that was really interesting to me was the, all of the new technology that's available. Our district has um, provided us, and we've spent a lot of money giving almost a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio of Chromebooks for our students. And so as they're getting rolled out, it's kind of nice to know all of the available resources that are out there and having seen them in action with real teachers and real parents. You know, our teachers were very excited to come out and see. We know they're doing good work with CGI, mm -hmm. and we wanted to see it uh, in action. And what was really neat is to see the experiential learning, and to see the different ways uh, the students learn, the collaboration among students, but also that ownership, that ownership of the students that take for their own learning, mm -hmm. and that freedom to explore and freedom to take risks. I mean, look, when we started, it was like we had CGI Friday or whatever. It was like once a week, and then that was like seven years ago, and so. Now, I was even talking to the other teacher and I was like, I don't even know what's my, what's my lesson CGI. And she's like, yeah, but it just, it comes like so naturally that it's like you don't even think about it anymore being CGI. It's just the way that you teach math. Yeah. And if you're in first grade, start with counting collections. Do counting collections by sewing. Yeah. And build from there. The students are learning and it's so powerful because they're doing it themselves. They're not being just spoken at by the instructor. They're counting and realizing, oh, maybe counting by twos wasn't quick. Maybe counting by fives wasn't quick when my number is 160. Maybe I should do it by tens. You see those connections happening and they're doing it themselves.